Greetings, Daniel Presedo for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended, and today we're looking at refraction. Refraction is the bending of light as it passes from one substance to another. And in this case, I have a sphere that's passing through these 3D text here and the, some of the postcard. So there are three elements here that you should know about. Let's open up this 3D layer here. Let's turn this off. And I have a postcard. That's this background here. Let me switch to the rotate orbit orbit tool here. So like that. I have three, I have a postcard. It's just the postcard. That's all this is right here. Let's say undo. I have the text, the 3D text. And then I have a sphere here and another sphere here. Now what's important to know is I also have illumination coming from the extrusion here. So let's render this. Well, I'll show you the render it again. That's where you see the glowing nature of this, is that there's illumination from that extruded area that's pushing the light on the postcard. Now, if you want to see illumination, that glow from that material, that light, to get that neonish look, you need to have a physical mesh. Using the default ground plane will not produce the glow because it's really more of a shader. It's not a real mesh ground plane. We do that to give you the the shadow on the ground, but it's not going to be able to, to pick up the color. So you need to use a postcard or create just simple geometry, a square, a plane in order to get this effect. I use a postcard because it's drop dead easy and I can push it forward. I can push it back. I can get some interesting effects. Let's see. Oh, let me turn this off so you can see what I was doing. I can bring it forward and I can push it back. I have one point light that I can move around. If I actually select it, I can move it around. So if I actually use the right tool to move it around <laughs> and you can see it's just a point light. And I put it in this area just because I kind of liked it there. And don't worry about when you see things disappear. That's this OpenGL. That's a lot of things being rendered and some video cards just don't have enough power to render everything. But when you render it with ray trace, hit that button, boom, you're going to get some really nice stuff. And in this case, I moved things around a little bit. It's looking a little bit wacky, but that's okay because we like to experiment with Photoshop. And I hope you do too. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. And I will try to maybe do a breakdown of you can watch me build this one day if you really want to see it. All right. Have fun. Thanks.